Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. I got a question about the keto diet. This is something I've been getting asked a lot lately. Um, should I run the keto diet? Is it a good choice for me? Uh, I've been asked this question about four or five times during the past week, so I want to address it. The keto diet remains extremely popular, and a lot of people feel the need to uh, explore it, so I want to talk about that. Before I do so, if you have any questions, you can check out the link below. You can submit your questions. They come straight to my inbox. The best questions I turn into videos just like this. So let's talk about the keto diet or the ketogenic diet. Basically, and there are articles on tigerfitness.com about the keto diet. You can check those out. There's plenty of other resources on the internet. Basically, the ketogenic diet is seen as a very effective method of fat loss. It's basically where you eat very little carbohydrates, uh, very minimal amount of carbohydrates, a higher fat, higher protein diet, and you put your body in a state of ketogenesis. Um, guys want to try it. Guys and girls want to try it because they think it's some sort of, it's touted as some sort of magical fat loss diet. And the general belief when people look at this diet is that it's something that if they try, it's really going to assist them with weight loss, etc. Here are my thoughts. 99.999% um, of you guys don't need the keto diet. Uh, I don't really like diets like this. Um, I don't believe they're more effective than just a calorie deficit type of diet. Uh, it's not a lifestyle change. Um, when you go on the keto diet, you're going to lose a lot of water weight because you're restricting carbs and your body's simply going to dump extra water weight. So it's going to give you the appearance that it's really effective out of the gate. Any low carb, low carb diet will basically do that. But I am personally not an advocate for diets that are not lifestyle changes. If you are overweight and you want to cut fat, it's best to just go and eat whole clean foods. Just change your eating habits. So when the diet is over, when the fat loss is over, you can transition simply by adding a few more calories back in your diet, going into maintenance mode, etc., um, if you're trying to go from 7% to 6% body fat, then yes, the keto diet might be good for you. But it's such an extreme eating approach. It's just not reasonable for most people. It's simply not sustainable for most people. And again, it's not a lifestyle that you're going to um, want to keep for, it's not a lifestyle that, it's not a dieting lifestyle that you can keep once the weight is off. So, in my opinion, when somebody comes to me and asks about the keto diet, I say, no, don't do it. Just look at your current eating habits. What are you eating? What caused you to gain weight? And change those habits. Now, you don't have to go extreme and never have any fun. But use the 80-20 rule or 90-10 rule. Eat clean, good whole foods most of the time. Analyze what got you fat. What helped you gain the fat? and change those habits because over the long run, you're going to have to maintain your weight for 20, 30, 40 years. So you're going to need a new lifestyle, not a fad diet. And I hesitate to call the ketogenic diet a fad diet, but at the end of the day, I consider anything um, that is not sustainable, that is more extreme, that is a diet that somebody can't run for the rest of their life, more of a fat. It's something they just run in the short term to try to knock off weight. And then when they're done, they go back to whatever eating lifestyle they're at before, which really isn't a good idea. So if you're considering the keto diet, if you want to do it as an experiment, just as a learning experiment, yeah, go ahead. I'm not, I'm not going to tell anybody not to do that. But if you're looking at it for simply a fat loss diet, you need to just focus on eating healthier, changing your habits, finding a new lifestyle that is sustainable once the weight is off. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, again, check out the link below. If you've made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.